Holy moly, on today's episode, we talk about how to have less and create more, plus I share about my inner hoarding and how it's all been exposed as I'm moving to Montana. It's a short one, it's a good one, (sighs) and it feels so good to talk about. Let's get into the episode. Top of the morning, afternoon, or evening to you in another episode of the Monday Minutes. And you know what today is? Today is all about how to have less and create more. I'm going to tell you a quick story. So at the time of recording this, we are moving to Montana. We are moving to Montana, and I made a decision that all of 2021, my focus was going to be having less to create more, create more space, create more connection and create more ability for me to be. So I've been filling dumpsters and donating stuff and packing and getting things down to a couple suitcases. And I've actually had the best ever month of my life, the best relationship, the best business, the best financial, the best clarity, the best team management. And it's been true my entire life and I've avoided it. But by having less, I can create more. And I'm getting back to the roots of what matters. And what matters is those critical tasks that I have, that I get to do every day to serve the world. Recording podcasts, spending time with my kids, connecting with my team, connecting with my customers and having an impact. And for years, I have hoarded. I've hoarded to prevent myself from being present. I've hoarded physical clutter. I've hoarded digital clutter. And I've hoarded mental clutter for a long time. I have physical clutter in my house, so when I'm done working, there's always something to do or something to clean or something to detract me from being present. I have digital clutter, right? Emails and Dropbox folders and Google Drive folders and Slack channels and documents that I never open, but I convince myself that I need, so I always have something to organize or something to prevent me from being. And I've had mental clutter for a lot of my life. These stories and these programs that run, thinking about the past, what's coming in the future, while robbing me of the present. And the biggest gift that I've been given this year has been the ability to declutter in those three areas of my life. To declutter my physical space, to allow me more time to be. To declutter my digital space to outsource things, to clean up my desktop, to delete files that I no longer need. And then to declutter my mental space, having a daily practice, doing breath work, journaling, getting connected to my team and my mastermind every single day. See, all of us, all of us are bright, 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 bright lights. We're all lighthouses. We all have a mission. We all have a vision. And it's our job to shine that light. And most of my light was getting stopped at five feet because there was so much dirt on the lens. You see, shining the light isn't always just about turning the light on. It's also about recharging the batteries. It's also about keeping it maintained. It's also about doing everything in our power to have it be the brightest light ever, which means we have to tend to it. We have to water it. Sometimes we even have to trim it. We have to clean it. We have to replace the lens. And that comes from decluttering. And I've been watching movies for years, Marie Kondo and minimalism, and I've always strived to be that way, but I've never really taken the action to do it. And so what I made a commitment to is that every day until our move, or pick a month, pick a time frame, I was going to remove two pieces of physical clutter and two pieces of digital clutter until I was clean. And then I was going to ask myself if I brought something new in, does this bring joy to my life? Do I need this? Is this something that I have to have? And it's been an absolute beautiful gift, a beautiful gift. And it somehow, and I know how, has magically created more results everywhere in my life. I am happier because everything feels easy. I have things. I don't have things anymore to detract my attention. Like when I'm done, I'm done. When I sit on the couch, I'm bored. When I'm playing with my kids, there's nothing pulling my attention. When I'm in meetings with my team, I'm in the meetings. When I'm creating content, it's for the content. When I'm recording a podcast, I'm all into the podcast. I keep my space clean. I keep my physical space clean. I keep my digital space clean. And I keep my mental space clean through my daily practice. And so I think every human being in the world can benefit 
by having less so we can create more. Because here's my secret to you. Nobody can create your magic but you. And the world needs your magic. I need your magic. I need your light. And so I need you to have as much space in your life as possible to create and shine that light instead of not being able to turn it on because there's so much clutter around. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you or hear you or be in those earballs in the next episode. Bye.